Hello folks, hope you are having a great one. This is Eucalyptus camajuensis, commonly known as uh, river red gum. And it's because it usually grows along water courses and it's a red gum. Red gum is this group of eucalypts that have mostly, um, I think, red hardwood or timber. I'm not ent entirely sure on that, but they all share some common features like strongly exerted valves on their fruits. Um, so river red gum is the most widely distributed eucalyptus in Australia. And here is a really good specimen. Um, you can see it usually has smooth trunk that is kind of molted, um, but it's really beautiful in my opinion. It's a quite, like, quite a mag magnificent tree. Um, and if I get closer to show you guys the flower buds and the fruit, I don't think they're in flower at the moment. Um, let me find a good shot. All right, so those are the flower buds. And as I was talking earlier about Eucalyptus globulus, the, the pirango, the inflorescence usually occurs out in leaf axis or in the terminus. And this is again, another example where the, um, the inflorescence is occurring in the leaf axis. Um, it usually has a cluster of seven and especially like for example if you look at this one uh, but sometimes you know there are, are odd numbers as well but most commonly seven is what i see and a distinctive feature of that is this peaked operculum on the flower bud and when the set fruit you can see um, the valves which are those four things that split open when the dry out is strongly exerted uh, let me show you an example maybe here as you can see the valves are all sticking out very um, strongly so this is Eucalyptus camadulensis river red gum a very nice tree usually grows along water courses because they they think they distribute their seeds um, through the water as well because they float and here's another one it's kind of against the sun I don't know if you guys can see it um, yeah it's a really beautiful tree and hope you like the video